Everyone, we are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! I must caution that this war is not yet over. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair and wipe them out for good. Oh, man. <sighs> Wait, Archon. Are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The Abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious, for all of us. It's kind of a shame that we can't join him with a final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back to normal, right? That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now. Let us also remember those who gave their lives fighting for our nation. Once the last dregs of the Abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost, but no hero of Natland should be forgotten. If, if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for the Fallen. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need, and that is the Captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits, so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. They said the world's your oyster now. How are things at the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the Children of Echoes. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. 
Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you, Ahau? Why are you so incapable of being nice? The Collective of Plenty was the furthest from the Abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All's well that ends well! I must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. I'm told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. You remind me of the Prince. The similarities in your approach are striking, especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see him soon. Hey, Auroran! How are the Masters of the Nightwind doing? Granny C. Lolly's been there the whole time, and she's a tough one. I think we should be fine. I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Uh, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and I suspect they would find your comrades' presence a little distressing. Right, because often they look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. Well... Also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. Ah, welcome. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired, or...? <sighs> I guess I am. You know, when I was up there in the sky, I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... If only I'd been quicker. Maybe they wouldn't have... And Koichi. Maybe she'd still... <sighs> I'm sorry. Now is not the time for that. Um... <clears throat> Fruit juice, right? Uh, make it a large? <sighs> True. My 500-year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. But battle is second nature to me, so... I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! Are you always gonna have that kind of power from now on? Oh, uh... That was the Divine Throne unleashing my full potential. And it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. From now on, it's back to ancient name bearers only. Correct. We dealt the Abyss a critical blow. So for the time being, it's too weak to sustain regular invasions. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. 
Or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me, what drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? A clear conscience. <laughs> Great answer. That's how life should be lived, to the fullest, with no regrets. What I'm really trying to say is, I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I, together, finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the Speaker's Chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then... I hope to hear your verdict. <sighs> My mind is still flooded with scenes from the war. I can't get the images out of my head. Maybe I need another drink. Oh, wow, if you're making uh, candles, I have some materials you can use. They're in the warehouse. Should have plenty to spare. Ah, good point. I'll go instead. Wow, if you're making uh, candles... Ah, good point. Everyone else is enjoying the celebration, but a house still being as aggravating as ever. Does he have a chip on his shoulder? What's it about? I'm still somewhat in disbelief that a united people prevailed against the Abyss. Do I sense some regret in your words? A degree of regret is inevitable. But above all, I feel profound admiration 